Hey everyone, I'm here in Dawsonville, Georgia in the Dawsonville Forest and I'm standing right in front of Georgia's own nuclear testing facility. Uh, this place was up and running in the 1950s. It's a joint effort between the United States Air Force and weapons manufacturer Lockheed. Uh, this place was established to irradiate various pieces of military equipment. It was placed in a rural area to see how the surrounding environment would react to the facility. The ultimate goal was to see if a nuclear powered plane was feasible. Um, the reactor to this facility was unshielded Therefore, any time the reactor was turned on, all the employees had to retreat to a bunker in order to avoid uh, the various negative effects of uh, nuclear radiation. Um, one of the residual effects of the reactor being unshielded was all the leaves on the trees within a certain mile radius had fallen off basically just just bare trees it looked like trees during the winter um, even the hardy trees uh, that usually keep their leaves during the winter um, this place was uh, eventually shut down in 1971 um, the bunkers were filled with dirt, therefore uh, their entrances were um, were filled with dirt, therefore they're not accessible. There's not any definite answers of what exactly went down at this facility. Um, I couldn't really find anything about why it shut down, but it has been shielded off with um, barbed wire fence. There's tons of signs that say, no trespassing, keep out. It is still not inaccessible. There's various, various entrances to the facility. Um, though it's, those entrances were created uh, by a lot of urban explorers with uh, bolt cutters. So, as far as I can see and as far as I've read from uh, various websites and videos on this facility, there's no radiation leaking off of the uh, facility. But we're going to go in, check it out, and just see what this place is all about, do a little more reading on it, and just see what we can find. Through this fence right here, you can see where one of the entrances uh, were and just from uh, everything that I've read uh, this this main building is uh, the uh, where the nuclear reactor was but still not shielded off from uh, from harming anyone or any living thing So I'm just reading from the Atlas Obscura website and it, it talks about how this was uh, built in the early 1950s. Uh, it was a sprawling testing center, was a joint effort like I said between the Air Force and weapons manufacturer Lockheed. Uh, during its years active, uh, the center would fire up its small nuclear reactor and irradiate pieces of military equipment and the forest itself and observe how they held up. Uh, it was an all in an effort to see whether a nuclear powered airplane could be created. Uh, according to the reports, the reactor was unshielded and the personnel would have to retreat to underground bunkers whenever it was turned on and the residual radiation pollution caused the forest to lose all of its leaves. The exact goings on at the center are still top secret, but the facility was closed down and largely dismantled in 1971. 
uh, today the flat building foundations can still be found in addition to a single remaining building from the complex. It's all hidden away here in the Dawsonville Forest. Uh, the entrance to the underground tunnels were buried, but like I said, lots of urban explorers have found their ways into the facility and I'll show you one over here one of the entrances past the fence back there is a uh, another smaller building um, I don't know exactly what these smaller buildings uh, were used for um, only because, uh, you know, there's not, not a whole lot listed about this place. Um, and the only buildings that I've read up on is where the reactor was located. Um, as well as the bunkers, uh, uh, how they were filled with dirt. Um, but if you know, you know, which buildings or what, uh, let me know in the comments. Now, at a first glance, I thought that this building, or that this was um, basically a, uh, a building that was uh, engulfed in dirt. It almost looks like a large open window, but this is actually just the foundation of one of the other buildings. Uh, looks similar to the same size as the one back there um, two smaller buildings uh, in front of the large building where most of the radiation uh, probably was um, for a place that's abandoned there's hardly any graffiti um, the one that I only saw was where the door was and it was uh, pretty uh, minimal so uh, that's that's something something that's pretty cool to see uh, an abandoned place without hardly any graffiti now I do hear a lot of uh, um, wildlife around the area and it seems that um, ve vegetation has taken place on the concrete foundation um, but I'm curious to know if there was any of the uh, wildlife from around the time that died from the radiation or if they went on to create some kind of offspring with major deformities. It's pretty interesting to think about. Um, who knows? Uh, some of the animals that had birth defects from this facility could be sitting in a um, a Ripley's Believe It or Not, or even um, the two-headed calf in the Georgia Capitol building. So, something to think about. And there is a trail that circles around the entire facility. Um, depending on what side or which way you're walking, uh, it just completely circles uh, the facility and it's surrounded by a fence. Um, but while walking around the entire fence, you can always see the facility. Um, so it, it just circles it, surrounds it just enough to where you can't really get to the facility or see in it that well. But you'll always be able to see it while walking around the fence. Right over here is where I have my car parked. Um, just so y'all kind of know... Uh, how to get here without getting super lost. Um, the silver car over there is mine. Um, you're going to follow this and you're going to see where it says road closed. Um, that is just for ATVs, horses, um, bikes. This is a place where people like to go uh, biking. It being in Georgia, people love to ride their horses. Um, as well as their ATVs um, but can't do that over here this is the fence that's going to circle it 
you can start right here it's going to be on your left um, this way and you can go all the way around and you're going to come out over there and keep circling it it's maybe um, a quarter mile quarter mile all the way around so like I said it's very close to the facility I can actually see the facility barely uh, from here um, don't think you're going to be able to see it in the video but it is visible now um, from what I've seen up ahead uh, or coming in there was a um, about 10 cop cars uh, this is on a campground they're all canine units I imagine they're doing some training um, for the dogs uh, whether it's sniffing stuff out um, therefore I'm not gonna test my luck and go in maybe another time um, when there's a bigger entrance created and I don't have to um, crawl through and risk ruining my clothes and my equipment but if you like this video please like and subscribe if you want to see the other places that I've been click the link in the description and I'll take you to an interactive map um, if there's any other place you want to see me go uh, go to please leave a comment in the comment section but for now thanks for watching everyone